Hey there and welcome back. We finished off the RESTful API, uh, or at least the CRUD, um, and tested it with the Postman. And we've tested all the different routes here and they seem to work. So now it's time for trying to deploy this on Firebase. And because it is running localhost and we want to export this as a cloud function in Firebase. How do we do this? Um, it is actually pretty easy according to Firebase because we need to run Firebase deploy using the Firebase CLI. So we're going to do that and see what Firebase is going to report to us. So now it's going to start to uh, look at the functions, look at the code and package the, the functions for uploading as a Node.js 8 function. And uh, we, yeah, I've cleaned up Postman a little bit. So we now just have the routes that are relevant to us. And we probably need to save them because they're all get requests. So let's just save all of them here. That is uh, reader specific, read all, put, and delete. Okay, so this is still working, but we should create a new collection here because it is localhost. And now we're trying to deploy it. So we're gonna get um, a random URL from uh, Firebase that we can use to access this RESTful API. And now we can see that uh, deploy has completed. That is good. And if we head over to the console here, we can see it. We should be able to see in functions that we have a new app that we specified that we wanted to export this app here. Uh, it is running on Node.js. And this is the request that we need to put in Postman. So now this is a real remote URL. It's not just a local host. And we need to, let's just go and duplicate this collection here. Maybe we should rename this. So now this is remote. And I'm just going to copy this. Oop. Copy. And uh, yeah, we can take the first one just to see if it actually works here, this basic route here. And one thing to note here is that we're running HTTPS now instead of HTTP. So we are using secure circle layer. And uh, let's send this route to our remote. Hello world. So Firebase response. And we also have some usage specifications. And if we, yeah, let's try to create a product. Take that one there. Uh, maybe we should kind of close all tabs so we can just get the remote one here. And again, let's just replace the local host with our remote one here now. We have the same data here. Let's send this to Firebase 200. And if we go to the database, we should have, yep. Yeah. So we have new product here. We can create a couple of them. So this is just one product. Yeah, so we get this one here. And to keep this nice here, boop. Product B, we get product B there. If we get the specific reader, we're gonna do, doot. and let's just read, yeah, product two here. Whoop. So we get that there. That seems to work okay. Product A. Can we get all of them? Whoop. And we can get all products remotely from Firebase. Can we update one remotely? Let's see if it works. Boop. Put. Update. Product 3. Yeah, so let's let's 
let's just initialize say this is updated product c updated send this using put okay oh and also the message there on 100 okay so that was updated can we remove one from the database whoop we just yeah let's just take number three we just modify that to send that gone okay so it seems to work um we have successfully deployed uh, a cloud function that will uh, that is a RESTful API using Express and Node.js. And uh, the next thing would probably be to develop some sort of front end in maybe Angular or Vue or React that will consume this RESTful API and use the routes like Postman do so that we can actually use it in a more usable way. So this is Oop, this is it for uh, this video series, the first part here. Uh, I've, I hope you can make this work. And um, I hope to return with, uh, with a video where I connect a front end to this API here uh, so we can see how this basically works. All right. Thank you for watching and have fun with this. Bye-bye.